Week 7, the task review. This will also cover and be relevant for Week 8. The future of the promotion mix reports. It will be an individual assessment task, so please, everybody, let's nail that part of the requirement first time every time this round. It will be for around 2,000 words, 1,800 to 2,200, using the plus minus 10% rule. You are going to engage one area of the promotion mix, and you are going to write a research-led paper that addresses what the area is with the definition, what does it do well, aka strengths, what does it not do well, aka weaknesses. And then you're going to talk about the impact of technology on possible changes, enhancements, improvements, or losses in the area. So let's break it down. What we're looking for in this paper is a broad start, definition of the promotional mix area. You've got to define what it is that we are talking about and I'll be reading about in this paper. Mandatory references throughout, but this point, if you're using a definition, please use a reference. If you define it without referencing it, I'm just going to be sad and not give you any points for that section. Phase two, strengths. What does it do well? This is, again, research-led, you need citations, you need references, you use the academic materials, you've got access to textbooks, you've got access to journal articles, you've got access to Google Scholar. Use the assets, make use of them. Tell us what it does well. Tell us what it does well with support from evidence, argument, and academic papers. Similarly, tell us the converse. Tell us what it's not doing well or what it's ill-designed to support. Each aspect of the promotion mix has something it does really well and something it doesn't do well. So this is your opportunity to showcase how you understand the promotional mix element, what it can do, when you should use it, and where it shouldn't be used. Then we're gonna go into the projective section of what is the impact of technology on this aspect of the promotional mix. What or how could and can existing technology or new technologies influence the strengths, and that can be, it can increase the strength or it can lower strength, and influence the weaknesses. It could reduce a weakness, it could create a bigger problem, it could enhance a weakness of that element. Now the key here is that you've just told me what the strengths are, what the weaknesses are, so now the impact should definitely pick up on those aspects you've just talked about. So in terms of a breakdown, I'll put some more specifications into play here. It's going to be about 20% of the paper will be on the definition. It's going to be about 20% of the paper that's going to tell me the strengths and the weaknesses because these are co-connected, two separate sections, but co-connected because you cannot tell me something is a strength and promptly tell me it's a weakness at the same time without flagging. Some strengths create weaknesses. Some weaknesses can be modified into strengths. But ultimately, this is a digital marketing communication subject, so your last part of the paper is also going to be individually one of the highest value parts at 40%, and that is how can technology influence what happens with this element of the promotional mix now, near future, distant future. To do this paper well though, you are going to need references, research, and evidence. This is not my opinion, I reckon. This is the evidence that I have found supports this proposition. So it's gotta be evidence-led. If you're not using the evidence, you're not doing it right. If you don't have citations and references, you're not doing it right, and I want you to go back and redo it. Your task that you are being commissioned to do is to present to me a 2,000 word evidence-led paper that discusses one area of the promotion mix, its strengths, its weaknesses, and how technology will impact on that area of the promotion mix. 
Anything else other than what I've just said is not meeting my requirements, so you won't get points for it. Don't try and make up a story in your head about what you'd like the answer to be. Go with what we have told you to do. Last thing I want to say is that you are going to be using, across all of the sections of the paper, all four sections will be graded against the same criteria. And that is, how well do you deliver on your response to the challenge? You are going to see that pass grades have requirements for references. To get better than passed, you need to use your references well. You need to be supporting your arguments. You need to be synthesizing the information that you are reading. You are in an evidence-led management subject. You must act on the evidence. Research, search, understand, interpret, and present. So your requirements to do well will need citation support, synthesis, and that metacognition of understanding how your ideas come together and delivering the ideas against the task requirements.